February the 11th. Time to say goodbye for longtime Egyptian leader Hosni Mubarak. Having hung on to office in the face of protests, he finally abandons his palace, his presidency, his wealth, flying away to an uncertain future. Three months on, he's been ordered to stand trial on charges including premeditated murder. In Cairo, there seems little sympathy for the 83-year-old. Yes, he should be tried. He needs to be tried for the wrongs he's committed. He deserves a harsh punishment. He stole from us for 30 years. He robbed us of our lives. He stole the country's wealth. After Tunisia, it was Egypt's turn to make history in the so-called Arab Spring. Mass protests in Tahrir Square and elsewhere demanded freedom, democracy, better living standards and Mubarak's departure. But the price paid was a heavy one. A crackdown claimed more than 800 lives. Ousting the president, though, was not enough. With years of pent-up rage unleashed, Egyptians continued to demonstrate, this time demanding that the former first family be made to face justice. Hence the intentional murder charges facing the former leader and his sons Alar and Gamal over the violent repression of the revolt. This, as well as allegations, they abused their power to line their pockets. Mubarak's wife, Suzanne, has also been questioned amid claims the family amassed a fortune worth tens of billions of euros. While she's been released from custody, Alar and Gamal Mubarak are behind bars in Cairo. Their fathers detained in hospital in the Red Sea resort of Sharm el-Sheikh after suffering reported heart problems. Many Egyptians had speculated that the military rulers now in charge were protecting one of their own. Mubarak was a decorated Air Force commander before becoming president. For 30 years, Hosni Mubarak was Egypt's figurehead, symbolizing the country's strength and stability. But for a new generation not afraid to express themselves, he embodied the arrogance of power. They believe Mubarak must be tried like a common criminal, with the death penalty hanging over him.